In this video, I'm going to show you some basics of VBA, how to create your first VBA program. To get to the VBA environment, again, go to Developer, Visual Basic, or just hit Alt F11. If you have nothing here, that means you need to add a module. To do that, go to the book you're currently in. I'm currently in VBA Project uh, Book. And I'm going to go to the top here, or go to Insert. You can do that just as well, Insert Module or click here and click on module. So here's my canvas area or my module. You'll see on the left this is module 2. If I were to double click module 1 you can see I already have some code in here. Let me go back to module 2. Okay, to start VBA, uh, a program in a VBA, this is called a sub or a sub procedure. You would type something like this, sub space and then the name of your sub procedure, also known as a macro. So let me call this um, my first awesome macro or sub, my first awesome sub, enter. Now when I hit enter it automatically puts in the parentheses for me and it ends the sub. My program happens anywhere in between the sub and the end sub. Now most programs need something called variables. So to define a variable I type dim. Why is it dim? Yeah, I don't know. Don't worry about it. Dim name of my variable, my var variable, and I need to um, call it something. Let's see, or I have to give it a type. So my variable is going to be a string, excuse me, as string. These are all the different types you could have. Here's my variable as string, enter. All right, now what I want to do is do something with that variable. I'm going to call my, I'm going to assign the value of my name to my variable. So my variable equals, in quotes, James. So the value of my variable is now James. Now here's what I can do with this. Observe. Now I can tell it to print out my variable. To do that, I would say debug.print my variable. There we go. Now this program is creating a variable called my variable. It's a string, which means it's a string of characters, usually words. And then I'm saying, give the value of James, which is in quotes because it's a string of characters, so it needs to be in quotes. Give the value of James to my variable. And then go ahead and print out whatever the value of my variable is, and then finish. So let's see what happens when I hit play, or F5. Down here in the immediate window, it printed out the value of my variable. Now let's change this to Joe. Hit play. Prints out Joe. Pretty cool.